Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be about plant breeding and selection. The same principles can apply to the animal selection too. So here is a problem. In tomato genotype that is um, homozygous for three uh, genes produce 100 grams tomatoes and uh, genotype that is homozygous dominant for all genes produce 160 gram uh, fruit. What is the contribution of each polygene in the production of tomatoes? First of all, let me list down two genotypes that we have here. The first one is small a, small a, small b, small b, and small c, small c. The other one is capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, and capital C capital C genotype and uh, this genotype produce plants with fruit that weighs 100 grams and this genotype produce plants uh, with fruits that weigh 160 grams. I want to change this problem a little bit in order to simplify this problem and uh, so we don't need to use uh, calculators. Let uh, this genotype uh, on the left uh, would produce fruits that would weigh 120 grams fruit and this genotype here would produce 180 grams uh, fruits. First of all, how many genes we have here? Uh, some may think that uh, we have six genes here, but actually we have one gene, A, one gene B and one gene C. And the same is here, one gene A, one gene B and one gene C. And in diploid organisms, um, genes sometimes has uh, many uh, allelic forms. For example, in this organism, as you see, there is a recessive allele A and dominant allele A, recessive allele B, and dominant allele B, recessive allele C, and dominant allele C um, can be found. So, uh, it's now very easy to understand this problem that each allele contributes something to the uh, fruit weight. And it's very easy, we have six alleles here, and if we divide 100 20 grams by 6, we are going to get that each allele contribute 20 grams. So if we add 20 grams, we are going to get um, 120 grams here. And if we divide 180 by 6, we would find that each dominant allele contribute 30 grams to the weight of the fruit. So now it's very easy to find different um, combinations. For example, if genotype would be capital A small a and small b small b and capital C and capital C. So 30 grams here, 20 grams here, 20 here, here, and 30 grams, and 30 grams here. So it's very easy to calculate. 50 plus 40, 90, plus 60, 150. So um, fruit or plant with this genotype would produce fruits with uh, 150 grams fruits. Uh, um, this is on average. It doesn't mean that this genotype would produce all the fruits that are going to weigh 120 grams. This genotype would produce um, all fruits that would weigh 180 grams. And this genotype would produce all the fruits that is going to weigh 150 grams. This is on the average because except um, genotype uh, would influence um, appearance of the plants and fruits is um, genotype plus environmental influence. So phenotype is genotype 
plus environmental influence. So once again we have one, two, three genes, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six alleles that influence this trait. And how many polygenes we have here? If you think that this is one polygene and this is another polygene, this is not so. Actually, every allele here is a polygene. So allele basically this is um, just variation of the gene. For example, if we have uh, some gene that is A T T C G A T. Uh, for example, we may have uh, another variation of this gene that is A, T, C, C, G, A, and T. As you see, here we have uh, different bases. So this enough to call uh, these two genes allelic forms of the same gene. For example, this variant can be dominant, for example, capital A, and this variant uh, may produce recessive variant. Uh, for example, this variant would produce uh, enzyme that is going to be more efficient than this one, and this may influence the weight of the uh, fruit or any other trait of the plant. So polygene is allele that uh, add something to the trait, but uh, to the small extent and many uh, different genes also add to the trait. But you have to differ uh, such allele or such polygene from epistatic genes that uh, influence trait by um, upregulating or downregulating other genes. So uh, such um, genes would regulate uh, production of other uh, proteins or enzymes, but uh, affect the trait indirectly. But polygenes would affect the trait directly, and we call such genes um, additive genes that uh, add something to the trait. In this video, of course, I could use 100 grams, but it's not uh, convenient to divide by six. It's going to get. We are going to get. Um, 17 and if we divide 160 by uh, 6 we are going to get uh, 27 so it's not convenient numbers because this is also round numbers and uh, 120 and 180 is more convenient for explanations so if you would have uh, different numbers now you know how to solve uh, analogous problems and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.